All right, hey guys, Yona here. I welcome back to my RuneScape 3 completionist series. On this episode, I have a few goals. I want to get myself the planted feed switch. So for that, I have to work on some God Wars Dungeon 2 reputation. And I actually want to learn how to do normal mode Zuck so that I can get myself a better raids cape and eventually all the other capes as well. But yeah, I just want to uh, learn how to do normal mode Zuck. So that's one of the goals. This time around, I do want to get myself the planted feed switch before that, and I think I want to start using adrenaline potions as well. I've never used them before, and I'm pretty sure that you have to create them yourself. None of them are tradable as long as I'm aware, so I'll have to do some uh, herbal or this episode as well to get some adrenaline potions in my hands. But before I do any of that, I'm actually going to be looting the oyster twice with the use of the monthly DND token, so let's see what we get on the first loot. 156,000, which isn't uh, too great, we didn't get a fortunate component, but uh, let's reset the oyster. Now we can collect the reward for the second time, let's see if we get anything better this time around. And no, it's actually worse, but that's okay. Alright, so looking at the reputation, I have 1100 on the Zaros faction, 1300 on the Zamorak, and on Krikorovic, on the Sliske reputation, I have almost 1500. And on Helover's Chosen, I have 650. I have two Anima Crystals, I have a couple of seals to gain reputation with. And then there's the bounties that you can uh, stack up for five days in advance and then complete them once. So even though it doesn't really matter too much which reputation I focus on first, since I'm going to be getting them all to 2500 for now, and then of course going to be maxing them out as time goes on, but uh, I'm going to be focusing on Helver's Chosen first, even though I do have the least amount of reputation on this faction. Because this faction unlocks the Severe components, which are the ones used for Planet Feet. So I'm going to be turning in my Anima Crystals to this faction, both of them. And that already gets me over a thousand reputation. And then these seals will get me a little bit as well, handing all the seals. And now my... Helver's Chosen reputation is almost at 2500. I think I should be able to get to 2500. So as you can see, I can still get five bounties before I reach my quota. And each bounty gives me 150 reputation for the faction that I'm fighting for. So I'm, in the end, I'm going to be getting a total of 750 uh, Helver's Chosen reputation, which gets me to the 2500 limit. So I already got myself to 2500 reputation. I still have one bounty that I can do. And I'm going to be changing my faction from Seren to Sliske to start getting reputation in that faction. And this is the last bounty that I can do for now. And this took like no time at all. So I just have to remember to come back here like every five days or so to maximize my reputation gains. And you can also kill the bosses uh, for the bounties. I think you get 25 uh, kill count for the bounty thing per boss kill. So you have to kill four bosses for a bounty. And since I did get my uh, kill counts up as well, I might as well kill bosses the next time I come and do my bounties. I'm gonna leave an offer in for a Anima Core Body of Saren for 25 mil. I couldn't insta buy one for even 30 mil, so I feel like there's just none of these in the market right now. So I'm just gonna leave this offer in, and once I do get it, I'm gonna augment it, get it to level 9, then disassemble it for these severe components, so that I can get my Planet Feed Switch. Okay, so after a quick look at the wiki and all the adrenaline potions, I think I'm gonna be making myself enhanced replenishment potions and gonna be using those primarily. They give 30% adrenaline whenever you use them and they have a two minute cooldown, which is shared with all the adrenaline potions, I'm pretty sure. And there's also the adrenaline renewal potion that gives you a total of 40% adrenaline, but instead of giving it instantly, it gives you 4% adrenaline every game tick, so it takes 6 seconds or 10 game ticks to give you the 40% adrenaline, so I feel like that's gonna be better once I get more used to it, and if I need it in more advanced combat PVM, then I feel like adrenaline renewal is gonna be better, but for simple PVM, learning how to use adrenaline potions, I think I'm gonna be starting with the enhanced replenishment potions, because they give you the 30% adrenaline instantly, and that is still a huge boost in DPS, because after using an ultimate, I can almost use a threshold immediately, 
just after like two basics if I use the enhanced replenishment potion. So I don't know why I haven't been using them so far. It seems like a really simple DPS boost. And yeah, let's just go ahead and make these potions. It also looks like I can later on turn my enhanced replenishment potions into adrenaline renewal potions. So I don't actually have to make adrenaline renewal potions from scratch. I can just turn my uh, enhanced replenishment potions into them later on. And as you can see from the total price, it doesn't seem to be too big of a difference. So I don't really care about losing 5000 GP per potion. That's like non-existent. All right, so this should be all the ingredients that I need to make the enhanced replacement potions. I'm still buying the adrenaline crystals. I'm not in a rush to get these because these are the last ingredient I can just get started because I do have to make, let's see here, I have to start with making adrenaline potions and then I turn those into replenishment potions and then I turn those into enhanced replenishment potions. All right, here we have the end result. I have 1093 enhanced replenishment potions. These are probably going to last me for quite a long time. I didn't manage to get my hands on an armor piece, so I ended up buying a wand. I just have to get these to level 9 now, so I'm most likely just gonna AFK at Abyssal Demons. My wand is now level 9 and I am done with Abyssal Demons and I actually got the magic pet which I wasn't expecting to get, so that is pet number 14 of the skilling pets. Then, of course, we have to disassemble the wand to actually get the components, and this gets us four silver components. I think you only need one or two for the planet feet switch. A bit of an investment, just bought myself a main hand shadow glaive. This is going to be my planet feet switch, and yes, this is going to be for range only, but since I got four components, I can actually make a maids uh, planet feed switch once I start using maids a little bit more. But this is what I'm going to be throwing my planted feed on. And with just two silver components, I should have a guaranteed 100% chance at receiving the planted feed perk. So let's create that. And would you, would you like to work? There we go. There's the planted feed. Let's throw it on the shadow glaive. So before I head to Zuck, I actually want to try out the planted feed switch and the adrenaline potions because I've never used either of those at Arc Laser and see how Arc Laser goes. It should increase my DPS by quite a bit. Well, the planted feed switch and the adrenaline potions are great. And so is getting a second scripture of when. Don't hate me guys, I'm just gonna claim this real quick. Well, this was 250 mil since last week, but now it's like under 200 mil according to uh, this price checking website, but I'm not in a rush to sell this, so I'm just gonna leave it in. Would you look at that, guys? I actually failed the roll on the Hazelmere Signet Ring drop table, and I got myself a Blurberry Special. These are super rare. I actually got one, that's pretty crazy. These should be the last investments before I actually head in. Bought myself some Hydrix Becriminal Bolts E, which are useful for gaining more adrenaline quickly. And then the Onyx by Criminal Bolts E, which can be used to restore some HP. So both of these bolts are going to be very useful. All right, so I even got the Reaper's Choice. Let's actually go ahead and take a Zuck task for the full amount of points. And four Zucks. Um, <laughs> I wonder if that was a mistake. We'll see if we can even get one. Uh, but this is my inventory setup that I'm going to be going with. I'm going to be modifying this uh, according to my own needs. As I look, try to learn how the waves actually go, I've never tried it before and I feel like I'm not even gonna make it too far and I'm just gonna try to learn as I go. <sighs> oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. Oh, I actually did it. Uh, <laughs> look at my food situation. I managed to use every single piece of food, but I actually got a flawless run as well as my first cape. Um, I can definitely do better next time. The waves were actually super easy and I pretty much used up all my food on the Zuck fight. I'm not even sure what the mechanics were. I was just pretty much face tanking everything and just surging around. But that is crazy. 28 minutes. I can definitely do better for the next one. And I don't know. This is, feels a lot more exciting to do than fight kiln because I've never like really liked doing fight caves, fight kiln. So yeah, 
15 million loot as well. This is not all from a single run. I actually tried twice before this already. And on the first try, I got to like wave 16 to the triple jet. And on the second try, I died at like wave 7 or something. But let's take the Igneous Stone and actually make ourselves the uh, the new best in slot raid cape. All right, so basically I was I was just really panicking on the Zuck run, especially once I noticed how little food I had left for basically face tanking everything in the fight. And <laughs> it was a really clutch moment. I had no food left and it was like 800 HP. And luckily I was able to kill Zuck with my Dark Bow spec from my Essence of Finality. Anyways, let's grab the Tokhar cape and craft the new best in slot cape. I honestly don't like the look of these new capes, but hey, I got the best in slot cape. Ever since I got my first kill on Zuck, I haven't been able to even get to Zuck for the second time because I keep dying these stupid mistakes. Like this right here, I just died to the bombardment while Harakin was still uh, hiding. So that was another run wasted, basically. Alright, there we have the second kill. This wasn't a full run without a death. I just wanted to get myself a kill, so I practiced some of the Zuck mechanics and I think I got the fight down a bit better now than during the previous attempts and I was actually able to <laughs> deal with them properly, so hopefully I can get another full run after this. I did die quite a few times, I died like 4 times trying to figure out how the mechanics work exactly. Okay, finally, there we go. I actually managed to make another flawless full run. 24 minutes, personal best improved by 4 minutes. And I still had some food left. I can definitely still improve a lot, but I'm actually happy that I got that kill there. And we get another Igneous Stone. I just don't have the other fight kiln capes yet, so I'm gonna take this and then save it for once I actually get those capes. And there is the back-to-back -back and the Reaper task completed. And let's take a look at the Challenger's chest here. The loot here is so good. I mean, 47 mil. Just finished my Reaper task from yesterday. That was Arc Lasers. Got 31 Reaper points for it. And I got pick a task on the first attempt on the next day. So I'm gonna head back into normal Zack. And there's the Zack Reaper task completed. It was only two kills and the second kill was going pretty well. I got a personal record. It was going extremely well until um, <laughs> I think it was the attack where he shatters the crown. And if you stand on the things, then you stack up all kinds of debuffs. And for some reason, I did not realize that I was standing on the corner of one of those things. So I ended up using my sign of life from my defense cape but I still had quite a bit of food, so I think that was my most successful run overall. It was the fastest one as well. I had already forgotten about the invention pet, but I just got it for siphoning my Maddock at 139 mil XP. So I did go ahead and complete the fight kill on both melee and mage so that I can make their respective capes. And I still have two igneous stones and I think I have one in the chest as well. You can actually disassemble them for rare components, so they're not entirely useless once you already have the capes. Anyways, I guess that's it for this episode. I'm pretty happy that I got zucked down multiple times, because the first kill was absolutely awful. It was just lucky that I got the cape on the first kill, because I had no food left. I had like 800 HP, and I managed to dark post back Zuck down before his final attack on me. And the runs after that, of course, improved as I got my second kill, my third kill, and my last kill, which was 23 minutes and 30 seconds for the whole run. And I still had a bunch of food left. And there's still a lot of room for improvement. Of course, I do need to turn my enhanced replenishment potions into the renewal potion so that I can get 40% adrenaline per a dose. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.